Compass of History. 3. Written Records. This refers to the history which has been written down or documented. This is the most common and modern source of history as it cuts across different boundaries. It is the principal source of materials for historians in East Africa as they have been valuable for the past 200 years or less. The written records are grouped into two the primary sources and secondary sources as for the historians it is better to first deal with the secondary source and then handle the primary sources. Comma. Written records include books, letters, magazines, newspapers, minutes of meetings, official and private documents official publications by the governments and parliaments of the colonial powers, peace treaties and other agreements concluded by the great powers between one another and African chiefs, legislative acts, edicts, dispatches of the colonial administration, documents from African companies and individual merchants, letters etc. Comma. It also include books written by contemporaries, produced by aliens, narrative of explorers, reminiscences of soldiers, missionaries or colonial officials, the impressionistic song of the journalists and the imaginative reconstruction of the novelists. The written records can easily be accessed in the libraries, schools, colleges, archives and in some offices. Advantages of written records 1. Covers a wide section of ideas and different views. Different aspects concerning different views can easily be accessed in one written material for example a textbook can contain historical information concerning different aspects and areas. Therefore, this simplifies the work of the historian as he will concentrate on that one source and discover a variety of given information. Therefore, it's true to say that written records cover a wide coverage as different aspects can be commented upon. 2. It is easily accessible. As almost all areas have books, written materials are like a stone thrown into a pool causing ripples that flow out right across its surface. This therefore means that in at least any place there is at least a written source of something. 3. In addition to that written records are easy to keep and to retrieve, the accessibility therefore simplifies the work of the historian as she he has the material at their disposal. 4. Usually well explained and well elaborated. Many written records for such as textbooks are well researched, explained and elaborated by the authors. This therefore gives the person using the source actual and vivid material. 5. Usually contains well researched and concrete data which gives confidence to the researcher or historian. 6. Bridges the gap left by other sources. The written records as a source of historical information play an important role of bridging or filling in the gaps that have been left by other sources. As it is well known that no single source of history can stand on its own to tell history the written records do fill up the gap that other sources might have left. For example it gives evidences to oral traditions. 7. Cannot easily disappear. As in the case of oral traditions, if the narrator dies the historical information is most likely to follow him on the deathbed. For written records this is not the case as material that is written down is very difficult to fade away as it is documented and usually in many copies. 8. It is very helpful when carrying out research. For research purposes the most helpful source can be found in written records as it has guidelines, which help the researcher in his her research. As the information in most cases is well researched and elaborative this gives the researcher ample time in his research. 9. Easy to get valuable and rare information. It is mainly from written sources that valuable and rare information can be obtained. Many written records are very important as they provide evidence where needed. 10. Easy to make references. If written material is well organized. Many of the written sources act as reference material for the different needs and written records as a source of reference. Disadvantages of written records 1. It is expensive. Written records require a lot of time and resources to prepare. This makes them expensive to produce as compared to oral tradition. Also purchasing the written material is very costly. 2. Can easily be distorted or misunderstood. As written records are in most cases written in English which recipients might easily misunderstand. 
Also there might be distortion in the sense that writers might be biased when writing or they might have different approaches onto the same issue. 3. Applicable to educated people only. Written records are limited to a few people in a society. As the people who do not know how to read and write will not benefit from this source of history as he she will not understand what has been written. This therefore makes it limited to a given section of people. 4. Based mainly on the writer's opinion. Many writers are biased in the sense that they write in their favor of example Eurocentric and Afrocentric ideas. 5. Historians cannot be expected to come to the same conclusion. This therefore means that written records are continuously rewritten and revised unless the historian is able to sort out relevant information. 6. Many written records contain some information that might be irrelevant to the historian thereby, wasting a lot of time in a given source. Generally, it is very difficult to understand history unless you understand the historian himself first.